Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make iPhone app icons in Canva. I use Canva Pro, so I make sure I have all of the features that Canva has to offer. And you can get a link in my description of the video to try a Canva Pro for free. If you're new to Canva, make sure you check out the Learn tab at the top where you can learn about design and all of the features Canva has to offer. I'm going to be using an Instagram post. You can find it under the social media category. I'm using it because it's square and works great for app icons. This is what your blank document will look like. First, you're going to go to uploads. You can click upload media and then device, and then you can choose any file location that you'd like. I already have mine uploaded. And so I'm going to go back to uploads and I'm just going to drag over my design to fill the square. Dragging is the easiest way to do it because it will automatically fit the shape of the background that you have. You can do it just by clicking or sometimes when you drag it doesn't fill, but I find the easiest way is to just drag it, hover over the background really slowly, and then it will pop in and fill the whole background of your icon. If for some reason it doesn't fill up the background image, you can just click it and then drag the corners to resize. The next step is to go to the elements section on the left side of the screen. This is where you will find all of the app logos to your heart's content. There's a search bar at the top and you can just type a app title and a whole bunch will come up. Let's try Instagram. An Instagram search brings up all of these different app logos that you can use. Some of them come with Canva Pro, but if you look in the bottom right corner, some of them are free. You won't get as big of a selection in regular Canva. So again, upgrading to Canva Pro is a great option, but still you will get a couple of choices. I usually use the minimal ones, but I like the circle one, so let's try it. You just click and then drag the image over into your icon, and then you can resize it. I usually go to about 700 pixels. Then you can use the guidelines that are in the image when you drag it around, those pink guidelines right there, and you can center the icon right in the middle of it. Then you go up to the top color box, click on it, and it will open this color panel where you can select whatever color you'd like for your logo. You can even create some of your own custom palettes and settings. That way you can open up your own palettes every time you go in there. You can see I have my brand colors as well as some other icons I was using previously. And that's it. You can crop it, flip it, do other settings, but I'm just gonna go up here to the top. I'm gonna rename the file to something like tropical-instagram. I'm gonna click download, and then you're gonna choose your file type. A PNG file is suggested and will come up first, and that's what I suggest you use as well. You can see this is where you would go if you want to create a video or an animation, but let's just choose a PNG file. Then you click download. It will head to wherever the default location on your computer is for downloads. Once it's complete, this box will pop up and you want to click continue editing. Instead of taking you the whole way back to the beginning, you can actually edit this current file with a new logo, so that way you can eliminate a couple of steps. I'm going to go back to Elements and search for YouTube, and I'm just going to drag a YouTube logo in here. I'm going to resize it, and then I'm going to go click the color panel again and recolor it. You'll notice that this logo isn't square. I choose the longest side to be 700 pixels. You can, of course, change the background color again by going over to Uploads, but I'm going to stick with this. Then I'm going to rename the file to tropical-youtube, click the download button again, and then I can go in and re-download and it will add a new file to my folder. This will save you from having to go back to the beginning of the Instagram post. I offer all of these blank icons as part of the phone icon downloads on my website. If you go to pineapplepaperco.com and then search for phone icons, you'll get a whole selection of icons that you can use. And all of the design packages come with blank ones so you can make your own on Canva. I'll put all of the links in the description of the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more easy tutorials and free downloads.